Okay. Brothers and sisters, I spoke to you about this yesterday. Okay. Here is proof that Islam is taking over many states. You might not believe it, but you need to wake up and you need to arm yourself up and protect yourself and your family. Okay, I'm not sitting here saying every Muslim is a murderer, but majority of Muslims, okay, um, are ISIS sympathizers. They are devout Muslims that actually practice what's in the Quran. Um, you have a lot of Muslims that deny what's being said in the Quran. They deny the violence and the filth in the Quran because they don't read it. ISIS, I told you before, is a true um, representation as to what Islam is. I also warned you all that Muslims will be taking over and this is what this is what America's future is going to look like. And I'm going to let you see this for yourself. Um, I hope this brother Dabu777 doesn't mind that I'm using his video. This is for educational purposes only. This is a preview as to what America is looking at. And uh, hang on, brothers and sisters. Hang on a minute. This is a preview as to what America is looking at. Okay. Check this out. This is Dabu 7. And you're looking at the streets of America. This is not Germany. This is not Europe. This is Michigan, what they're calling Dearbornistan, Dearborn, Michigan. I've reported before how the populations have exploded in regards to the people that the Obama administration is bringing in. And what they're trying to do is create a race war type of atmosphere. They're trying to turn everyone against every Muslim, and even the peaceful ones. And they're trying to place all the blame on that religion while bringing them here in mass. In Michigan, they have taken over in the streets in this one particular part of Dearborn. As you can see here, people just cannot believe what they're saying. They're carrying the Muslim Brotherhood flags, the ISIS flags, right through the streets in mass. The question is, is where are the American patriots to step up and counter this? Yes, everyone's free to protest. Everyone's free to do what they, they want here. But when the flag that's being flown by the enemy, the alleged enemy, and I've told you who, who made and created the enemy, when that's being flown right here in our streets, that's a problem. Okay? As soon as they pull off the San Bernardino event, along with all these other events, and like I said before, the Obama administration is seeing more shootings in seven years than the previous four presidents combined. That speaks for itself with an agenda here, then bringing all these individuals in, and people just in disbelief cannot believe that this is happening. They're like, where's the American patriots? Where are the people to counter this? And for those of you that don't realize what's going on, it's here. Okay? And it's only here because someone brought them here, let them in here. They're doing this for a reason. You see what they just did to Europe? They invaded it by design. Okay? They're doing, they're doing the same thing here. And if people do not pay attention, neighborhoods that they grew up in will no longer be around. People that try to walk down those streets, like in the UK, I've seen video of people trying to go down neighborhoods that they grew up in. It's been completely taken over. People reaching in the car and smacking them. They have a whole different belief system. You see, and this has all been done by design, guys. Don't get it twisted for one second and think these people just showed up like this. No. Another heads up. In terms of Missouri, Lebanon, Missouri, we have a large number of cell phones that were bought in Lebanon at a Walmart that set off an alarm because there were so many, over 60 phones purchased at one time. And it was coming from non-English speaking foreigners. They called the police, the FBI. They apparently showed up and said they could do nothing. They, they were breaking no law, but they're keeping tabs on them, saying that these phones can be used in all kinds of different devices, things of that nature. But 60 phones purchased by individuals like that that were very suspicious wanted to throw that out there so people realize. 
and as you can see here this is where Lebanon is compared to St. Louis on the map so wanted to fill you guys in on this let it be known this is what's going down in the streets of America and you see when people start preaching anti-American themes in our streets that is when you better take action Everyone has a right to protest. Everyone has a right to freedom of speech. But when it becomes hate speech, and it becomes hate against us here in our own country, people better wake up quick. And remember, this is their motto of chaos by design. It's been Dabu 7. So, I wanted to show you something else. The reason why I pointed this out to you is because this is what's happening. This is what we're facing. I don't want to scare you. I'm not trying to put fear in you. But a lot of people seem to think that, you know, Islam is a peaceful religion. And it's not. But this is, you know, like this is a whole bigger scenario than Islam. Um, this is Bible prophecy. I believe that the Obama administration wanted um, these Islam uh, refugees, uh, these um Islamic, the Muslim Brotherhood, to invade and pose as uh, pose as refugees. The media is showing you, okay, um, what they're showing you in terms of the refugees is oh that they're they're men, families, or children. They're not. They most of them are like I told you before in prior videos. Um, devout Muslims. Um, like ISIS members, other Muslim faction members, and these Muslims aim to uh, spread their faith worldwide. Now I'm going to show you something else so you can see. Okay, that the, the Syrian refugee crisis is a front. This is a silent invasion of Muslims going on worldwide. You need to wake up. Hey everyone, this is Miro. I have some big time information regarding this refugee crisis and false flag that we see unfolding before our very eyes. It is being reported that an ISIS terrorist posing as an asylum seeker has been arrested by German police in a refugee center in Stuttgart. German customs officers have seized boxes containing passports from Syria being smuggled into Europe. According to a report carried by RTL's German language service, the terrorist is a 21-year-old Moroccan using a false identity who has registered as an asylum seeker in the district of Ludwigsburg. He was identified after police linked him to a European arrest warrant issued by the Spanish authorities. I'm going to stop there. So I told you guys before that these Syrians are not all Syrians. They're from different nationalities headed worldwide and they're headed to the United States as well. Let's continue. This man is accused of recruiting fighters for ISIS, where he acted as a contact person for the fighters who wanted to travel to Syria or Iraq. This first confirmed arrest of a bogus asylum seeker came simultaneously with the admission of a German finance ministry spokesman that boxes of fake Syrian passports destined for sale and distribution in Europe had been seized. German newspapers confirmed that 10,000 fake Syrian passports were seized by police in Bulgaria on the way to Germany. Now, it is stated that both genuine and forged passports were both intercepted. Possession of these passports is a vital part of claiming asylum as war refugees. Keep that in mind. Now, they're stating that these fake Syrian passports are being sold for about $1,500 each. And the fact that many of these refugees can afford to buy multiple passports is probably a red flag or an indication of the bogus nature of their claims to be asylum seekers. Okay. I'm going to stop there. I agree with that 100%. Not all of these refugees are actual refugees. Okay? Um, you need to wake up. You need to seriously wake up. Now, um, a lot of these refugees, as I told you before, most of them are young men. They are not, uh, 
And the last video I used was Spiro's, S-P-I-R-O. Um, sir, I hope you don't mind that I use your video only for educational purposes. This video right here is from the Next News Network. I'm not subscribed to him, but um, he made an interesting point on the Syrian refugee crisis as well. And I'm going to play a couple of clips. Here we go. comes from neonnettle.com and this writer says having studied most proxy wars in recent history since world war ii iraq libya yugoslavia ukraine and the list goes on and on in the, in the different parts of the world one begins to see the pattern of war tactics and its consequences which this refugee situation is why are these wars being fought what were the given reasons for it and who benefited in the aftermath? I'm going to stop here. These refugees that are being led into the, these many nations are not being screened. They're not being processed. They're not being medically checked. A lot of them have diseases. Think about it. They were in these uh, refugee camps for months, for even years. It's a disease infested environment. Um, you can Google it yourself, but there was a report out that these refugees had cholera, um, they also had uh, measles, polio, and there were several other diseases there as well. AIDS was among one of them. Um, so, and they're carrying many other diseases. I'm not saying that that these people are, you know, uh, corroded, but you have to understand that you, when you are letting an influx of refugees into your nation, you must screen them and you must process them to make sure that they are not a threat to your people. In other words, to the citizens of that nation, a threat, I mean, um, security wise, uh, that they're not a danger to themselves or to anyone else and that they're not a medical threat. But the Obama administration is not doing that. He is endangering American people all the way around. Let's continue. And for whose national interest gain were they waged? These are questions by Greg Sanovic. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, Greg. He says it's easy to come to a conclusion and see where the fire and the real terror is coming from. It's chaos, but chaos is exactly what they want. What we are witnessing, according to neonnettle.com, is a present-day empire that is more sophisticated than any until now. With their psychological warfare and manufacturing of consent, through a propaganda machine like no other in history. They know how to manipulate the public, and they know how to sway public opinion for their benefit. They've thrown the bait, and we've bitten, again, the U.S., or should I say the military-industrial complex and its allies are destroying the world, while we, here in the West, sit by and watch it unfold. Most of us are clueless to the real agenda behind the terror being waged on the Middle East under the pretenses of the quote, war on terror, and it's innocent people getting caught in the crossfire. And so on goes the mainstream news imperial propaganda selling us on the story that we are combating bad guys, terrorists, in their own countries, helping bring peace and democracy to those people with our high-tech machinery as our tax money flies over and around the world in the form of drones, Apaches, and fighter jets throwing bombs, all in the name of democracy. We're led to believe that we are the good guys while the real agenda is implemented. Neon Nettle continues in this article. Now we have poor people swimming over the Mediterranean, drowning in search of a better life. The same NATO allies that destroyed their countries are building fences and suggesting to shoot down the migrant boats pointing their dirty fingers at someone else. Now I'm going to stop there. Do not be fooled. One thing I'm going to disagree with about what he said is poor people. Not all of these people are families. Not all of these people are poor. If they can afford $1,500 for fake passports, you know they're not poor. Okay. A lot of these refugees are not who they say they are, only a few. 
a few legitimately need help, but most of them are ISIS um, sympathizers, ISIS recruiters, insurgents of the Muslim Brotherhood, the Muslim Brotherhood that wants Sharia law worldwide. You people need to wake up. Let's continue. And I'm not saying this to all of you, but I'm saying this to you so-called Christians that sit here and, and defend Islam. You have to stand up for the cross. And I'm not promoting, hey, I'm just promoting facts here. You got to make a choice. You either stand for Jesus Christ or you stand for Muslims. There's no in between. The refugee crisis is there to create chaos and confusion while they take full control of Syria, which was the plan all along. We just revealed that in the last story. This was the plan. Destabilize Syria. What? How? As, as the article author states, when we sit here in the West, in the United States, and watch this. Now, I'm going to stop here. This is Next News Network's video. Um, I'm using your video for educational purposes, sir. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to say to you all, okay, that I believe that they want, you know, because Syria is, I mean, Syria is, seems to be the battleground. I believe we're in World War III already. It seems to be the battleground. Syria is rich in oil and it's always about money. So do I believe that they want to take over Syria for that? That, that whatever nation wants to control Syria Yes, I also believe that uh, I told you before in a prior video that Israel is more richer in oil than Syria. They're also rich in natural resources as well as others. I believe that um, controlling Syria is part of it, but I believe that some want to use uh, Syria as a pawn to get to Israel. That's Bible prophecy as well. People washing up on shore, children. I'm going to show you some other things. Another clip before we end this broadcast about um I'm sorry about that advertisement you guys about uh click here to get a new phone from excuse me let me just mute that um I'm going to show you a real quick clip about the refugee crisis that the media is not telling you about they're not telling you this only painting a pretty picture so you can you know so they can play on your sympathy in a very manipulative way again this is next news network's video So these are the refugees the United States wants you to help. That's what they want you to help. So you do have some other refugees that, although they may not be uh, ISIS and uh, extremists or I'm sorry, ISIS recruiters, these are still devout Muslims, and they're so disrespectful, disrespectful, and so animalistic, and so, I mean, horrible to do things like this. Makes me wonder if a lot of Muslims take a bath. To do this is utter disgust. It's disgusting. I'm gonna finish. I'll show you another clip of this video. Churches and stealing from local stores while police in the area are struggling to cope with the disorder. This story comes to us courtesy of Paul Joseph Watson from Infowars.com. Elwangen, which has a population of around 23,500 people in a strong Catholic community, was recently inundated. 4,500 asylum seekers who are staying in the old army barracks on the edge of town. A friend of a local reports that store owners are struggling to do any business since people are afraid to go into town because of the migrants. Quote, I read about serious theft problems in stores where refugees simply walk in, take what they want or need, and walk out without paying, writes the individual. Quote, Beginning grocery stores called the police but stopped doing so after they were told to write up the losses and contact someone at the local municipality to reimburse them. 
So there you have it. I mean, at least from that aspect, there's people are these refugees are basically given license to steal from the German people. They're given license to steal. They're right off the loss to send it to the municipality. The municipality goes ahead and reimburses the Germans. So now it's a, it's a, it's a write-off. Unbelievable. Women, according to Paul Joseph Watson, women are also afraid to walk into town alone with reports of a woman being raped and a 10-year-old girl being sexually harassed. Quote, the most disturbing news that he informed me about, however, was that, he, that the so-called refugees go into churches and they actually are disrupting service. They would simply walk in and start to riot. These people want to destroy us, is what he said, literally. Watson continues, the report also states that residents have been forced to put up signs asking migrants to not defecate in their gardens, according uh, to Watson. He says it's a common practice, and uh, they simply want the refugees to use toilets. So, uh, mass chaos is 